Hello everyone, welcome to the new season of Vibrant Energy here at the Code Chef's April Long Challenge. Big techs like Amazon have come down to hiring. Uh, this question, Chef and Dice, I'd give you the exact visualization of the problem and uh, do check out the algorithm series playlist. It's gonna update each day and you, you, you will have everything that you need for coding. Also subscribe to my channel. Uh, now let's... All right, so here the chef has n six sided standard die. Each die has a dimension of one cross one cross one. So, so our chef has one cross one cross one, a dimension of a cube. Right, all right. Now it said that since chef is bored during quarantine, he decides to stack die for fun. So, stacking die is somewhat like this. So, this is what by you know, what they mean by stacking die he decides to stack die for fun first chef forms four vertical stacked die not necessarily with same height empty stacks are allowed so it doesn't mean that you'll have to fill all the spaces okay there can be a empty stack die but there are four strands of die so um mm, uh, which says on the table which together make up a pile dice with a base area of two two now look at this diagram this exactly is what it means from a top view that they have four, the, the surface area that it takes. So it's one, it's one, here it's one, here it's one. Totally we are arranging the piles like this. So in each of these box there are piles. It can be empty, it cannot be empty. That depends on us, on chef actually. Amongst all the structure, the total visible surface area of the chef's structure must be the smallest possible. Here is where the crux of the question lies. It says that the total visible surface area, now the surface area of a cube is 6a squared, right? But the total visible area is how much of the die can you see? Now the die can, that you can see is basically the die that is not in contact with the floor or in contact with any other die so here just say what is the visible number of numbers that you're seeing it's five three and six so this is the visible pips that we can see right now the sh we'll have to minimize whenever it comes to minimization whenever it comes to optimization what is the one algorithm that comes to your mind is it greedy or is it dynamic programming we'll just see in a moment we'll question ourselves we'll learn about it among all the structures, then Chef calculates the number of pips on the visible faces. Now, after you stacked up, you stacked up with the minimum surface area. Now, Chef finds the pips. Now, what are pips? Pips are basically the dots that are there in each of the dice. So here, as you can see, ek, do, teen, char, four pips are there. So the holes, basically. So pips. Okay, here uh, the face of the die is visible if it does not touch here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now he's wondering among all the possible arrangements, what is the maximum possible total number of visible pips? Here in the second part of the question, after you have minimized the surface area, you will have to maximize the uh, the summation of the pips that is visible. So here uh, you can see. Here you can see the visible pips is four and six, right? So we have to maximize the summation of these six plus four is 10 in this, in this particular, uh, that we can see from here. So 10, can we maximize, maximize it? Yes, we can. Six plus five is 11 probably. So that way we have to maximize it. Now, uh, let us see, let us uh, look through the example sample test cases and uh, everything that follows. So here is the input uh, strategy, here is the input and the output console definitions. The first line of the input contains t test cases and then it follows with the n. n is the number of die that we will be given, right? Output for each test cases print a single line, the maximum possible number of visible pips. We have to find the summation of the maximum total possible number of visible pips, right? and uh, the the constraints here is a little tight i'd say it's it's uh, n is from 10 to the power less than 10 to the power 12 so you'll have to be very careful here um, and there are four sub stacks that follows it's okay 
let's uh, look at the next slide let's look at the exact idea now let us now look at the example input and the output test cases uh, for solving this problem so here given you have one test case and one die so in one die if you place it in any way it will be the minimum surface area right but now the second part of the question has always asked for maximizing the number of sum total of the pips so now if we face the side which has value one like one pip downwards so we won't calculate that as it is not visible to us we would calculate here this face is six this is if this is four then this is this face is three then this is five and behind which we can't see right now is two so sum total of all of these pips becomes 20 right so that is the required answer now for one it was easy to visualize now let us understand it for two what happens if there is two right uh, all right so if there is two what in what way if we place two of the die do you think uh, the min surface area will be minimum if you think a bit pause the video you will understand that if we place the die side by side in any way it will give you a minimum surface area as three of the surface area you are blocking three faces if you block you'd get the minimum surface area arrangement for this particular uh, two die operation now the first part is done we have minimized the surface area the second fast we have we have to maximize the number of pips here if we place the pip value one below which is not visible the blue color says you which surface is not visible phase two here uh, the face with pip two if we place it in the common surface so it's not going to be visible for us we have blocked the minimum numbers through these three All right now see the maximum four three six three six four and i think five is also there so which side is five uh, if that is two this is five right this side is five so five now the summation of all of these right so the summation of four plus six plus uh five plus three into two all of this will give you the total output that is the maximum pips so for a two die system if i arrange it in this particular way it will give me my maximum answer that is required right now the biggest question is it the greedy approach or the dynamic approach which should we follow i have given you the exact mind space visualization that you will be requiring for this you'll have to think from here you'll have to understand greedy you'll have to understand dynamic you'll have to read about them do check out the algorithm playlist which has been updated every day and uh, the greedy approach is being discussed very well out there just go check it out and uh, understand how to approach to such a problem where whenever we are doing either optimization using minimizing something or maximizing something here in this problem we are using both we'll have to minimize and maximize uh, two different things and then come to an uh, desired solution any doubts uh, do uh, you know say it to me in the comment section below I'd, I'd be coming out with a second video whether it is the greedy approach or the dynamic approach on your demand if you would want me to uh, and help you i'll help you understand whether which approach to be used in which one and uh, do subscribe to my channel uh, if you like the video uh, do share it to your friends thank you